everyone. How are you? How it's going? Well, I'm Teacher Abraham, and today we are going to be here to learn about adverbs. Do you know what is an adverb? Well, let me tell you that it is a part of a speech, you know, such as other elements like the pronouns, like the verbs, like the adjectives. But today we are going to learn about adverbs. So let me start. I'm going to show you my board and we are going to learn together. Give me some seconds. This is going to take some seconds in order to start. Here we go. It's taking a little bit of time. Well, here we go again. Well, let's start with the definition of an adverb. What is an adverb? Well, an adverb is a word that describes a verb and tells how, when, and where. For example, the turtle walked slowly. He went to the beach today. My dog ran over there. Okay, we continue with explanation of an adverb. As I already told you, an adverb describes a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. It tells us how, where, when, how much, and with what frequency. So, an adverb can tell how, for example, quietly, hastily, carefully, slowly, badly, closely, quickly, efficiently, and painfully. Can tell us where, for example, above, away, here, outside, below, downstairs, inside, there. Can tell us when, for example, now, yesterday, soon, later, already, last month, or last year. Also can tell us how much, why, too, enormously, extremely, almost, completely, enough, deeply, and of course can tell us how often, for example, always, frequently, normally, occasionally, hardly ever, or never. All right? So, how do we form adjectives? How can we form them? Well, number one, in a large number of cases, the adverb can be formed by simply adding ly to the adjective. For example, quick, quickly, strong, strongly. Number two, in, if the adjective ends with y, replace the y with an i and add ly, such as in ready, readily, easy, easily. Number three, if the adjective ends with le, replace the e at the end with y, for example, understable, understandably, forcible, forcibly, possible, possibly. If the adjective Sorry, if the adjective ends with IC at early, an exception could be public, you know, we said publicly. For example, tragic, tragically, basic, basically. Some adjectives do not change form at all. For example, it is the case of fast, straight, and hard. So, in a large number of the cases, the adverb can be formed by simply adding ly to the adjective. Let's continue with this. 
Where do you place the adverb? Well, the adverbs used to begin in the sentence of the clauses could connect some sentence. For example, consequently, however, next, still, then, etc. Here we have some sentence. I did not care for her tongue. However, I let it go. That was the medieval section of the museum. Next, we have the Industrial Revolution. Adverbs of time such as tomorrow, yesterday, and sometimes are going to be also at the beginning of the sentence, such as these examples. Tomorrow, I'm leaving for Calcutta. Sometimes we feel as we don't belong to this group. Case number two, adverbs in the middle. Some adverbs of frequency are going to be in the middle. What are the adverbs of frequency? I already repeat the examples, you know, often, rarely, never, always, etc. You are always late. Also, the adverbs of certainty are going to be in the middle. Perhaps, probably, certainly, maybe, etc. Here we have a sentence. I will probably be absent at the party. Adverbs of comments such as, you know, responsibly, indignantly, etc. are going to be also in the middle. Here we have an example. He acts responsibly by informing the authorities about the wallet he had found. All right, that's the way in which we are going to place the adverbs. Number three, adverbs that go at the end of the sentence. For example, the adverbs of manner that are used to describe how something is done. For example, he wrote the answers currently. The adverbs of place that are used to describe the place where an event occurs. Father is sleeping upstairs. And the adverbs of time, you know, to find their ways to the ends of sentence or clauses. For example, I leave tomorrow afternoon. So, here we have a chart in which we have six types of adverbs. We have, as we already mentioned, adverbs of time. Some examples are already, ago, before, yet, never, yesterday, soon, lately. And the example sentences are, I have heard this before, I have not seen him since, I haven't spoken to her yet, She'll be here soon. Here we have adverbs of frequency, such as usually, sometimes, once. And the examples are, I normally go to the gym. They often go out for dinner. I occasionally eat junk food. Then we have the adverbs of place, like here, everywhere, near, nearby, down, away, backwards, upwards. And the examples are, is that your scarf there? I've lived here for about two years. I walked backwards towards the door. She turned her face upwards to the sun. Then we have the adverbs of manner, such as so, loudly, badly, beautifully, etc. For example, the soldiers fought bravely. Is that so? She dressed beautifully. We waited anxiously by the phone. Then we have the adverb of degree, such as almost, purely, rather, quite, too, enough, and perfectly. The examples are, I'm purely prepared. I'm rather busy. She's almost teary. They are perfectly sweet. Then we have the adverbs of affirmation, such as certainly, surely, apparently, obviously, now, and aptly. And we have these examples. Surely you are mistaken. Apparently it's going to rain today. The design certainly looks good on paper. 
Well, these are six types of adverbs that are going to be very useful for you. So, now you learn and you know more about an adverb. I'm sure that you are going to do your exercise perfectly. Well, you can do it. I know and I'm sure of that. Well, this is the topic of today. Thank you very much for watching and listening to this video. And see you soon, kids. Take care.